So we're going to start out, I've already connected to my subscription, and in this script I'm going to go ahead and specify several variables. I'm going to tell it what the resource group name is, I'm going to provide the instance name, and I'm going to provide the database name up at the top. Then I'm going to specify my long-term retention policy, and I'm going to feed in several items here. You can see the instance name, the resource group name. In this case, I'm going to feed it the database name. I'm going to tell it what I want for my weekly retention. So this is going to be retained for six weeks. My monthly retention, I'm going to keep for eight weeks. So the PW8, my yearly retention, I want to keep for seven years. And I want it to keep the full backup that comes from the first week of the year for seven years. That's, that's telling it which backup for, to keep for the yearly retention. Then I'm going to run the set AZ SQL instance database backup long-term retention policy and a command. And I'm going to feed in this LTR policy variable. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this section of the script block and I'm going to run this and it's going to take it a minute. And it's only going to change the weekly and monthly and yearly retention for that one database. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this get AZ SQL instance database backup long term retention policy command. I'm going to feed it the resource group name, the instance name, and the database name. And this is going to pull back what the retention is now for just that one database test DB3. So you can see that it took my weekly retention and my, my monthly retention and my yearly retention policy. Now that's fine if you want to just do for one database. What if I want to do this for an entire instance? I can again specify several variables. So I'll tell it my resource group name here, my instance name, and then I'm going to do something a little different. For my databases variable, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the get AZ SQL instance database command. I'm going to feed it the resource group name and the instance name. And that's going to ensure that in this databases variable, it will have all the names for every database on that instance. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to configure the LTR policy variable. And again, I'm going to specify the instance name, the resource group name here, the weekly retention policy I want it to set, so six weeks, the monthly retention, which is going to be for eight weeks, the yearly retention, which is for seven years, and then for the week of the year, again, which, which backup do I want to keep in my annual retention policy? Then I'm going to do a for each command. So for each database that's name that's in this database variable, go ahead and run the set AZ SQL instance database backup long term retention policy command and set the policy according to the variables I've supplied. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this and it's going to take this a minute because it now has to loop through every database on the instance. Okay, that command is now finished. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to list out the policy that I set for each database just to double check that it actually configured the policy according to the parameters that I specified. And so you can see here it's kind of looping through each of my databases. And so this is for test DB3. Um, again, you can see that it's set for six weeks, eight weeks, and seven years. Same for database B, same for database A. So this is a quick way to go ahead and set your LTR policy, your long-term retention policy, for the databases on your SQL Managed instance.